All right, choosing the right squeegee is my secret sauce today. So first, the stiffness of a squeegee blade is measured in durometers. So squeegees are purchased by the inch and you'll need a variety of sizes. Uh, I don't wanna print a left chest print with a standard 14 inch squeegee. So also beyond a variety of squeegee sizes, you will want separate squeegees for white ink, medium colors and dark inks. No matter how well you clean a, a squeegee, you can contaminate lighter ink colors from the ink that's trapped between the blade and the handle. A soft squeegee 60 durometers is primarily used for specialty inks where you need a heavy deposit of ink on the garment, on top of the garment. So uh, inks like puffs and glitters and shimmers are best applied with a soft durometer squeegee. For general purpose in a screen printing shop, you'll use medium 70 durometer squeegees. If you only want one style squeegee in your shop, make it a medium durometer. You can make this squeegee work for any printing you might wanna do. A hard or 80, 90 durometer squeegee is made to lay down the least amount of ink. This squeegee is most commonly used for printing fine lines on half tones. For decorators doing, say, simulated process, for instance, this is a squeegee that's uh, the best option. Another option that was most commonly used in the past on automatic presses is triple durometer or 70, 90, 70 squeegees. Uh, more and more manual shops are using these squeegees. 70, 90, 70 means a hard durometer squeegee is sandwiched between two medium durometer squeegees. The, the hard durometer blade helps to shear the ink from the screen while the two medium durometer blades help lay down a little bit more ink. So care and feeding of your squeegees. Use press wash to clean squeegees, never paint thinners or mineral spirits. These harsher chemicals can absorb into the blade and ruin the squeegee. If you get a nick in the blade, either throw it away or cut the whole squeegee down to make a smaller squeegee. A nick in the blade will show up in your finished print. If you have aluminum handles, which allow you to change out the blade, take extra care that that new blade is perfectly flat when tightening into the handle. A slight curve in the blade will cause printing issues and very difficult to, to diagnose. So after loading the blade, place it on a flat surface to make sure there are no gaps when you tighten those screws to hold it in place. Uh, store your squeegees handle side down and blade up. Storing your squeegees with the blade down will eventually cause the blade to curl. So here's a pro tip. If you have multiple manual press operators, provide each with their own set of squeegees. It's like a mechanic having their own tools. This cuts down on arguments on the production floor. Hey, he took my best five inch squeegee. <laughs> in turns, uh, your, uh, and, and in turn, your operators will take better care of that set of tools. Using the right squeegee for the job. That's my secret sauce for today. <music>